welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan. Both leaders underlined the solidity of fraternal relations between both countries and peoples and keenness to further bolster them in various fields. They also asserted continuous coordination and consultation between the two kingdoms regarding issues of common interest. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of building on the ongoing progress and development witnessed in the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Following the conclusion of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Council, His Royal Highness recalled the late Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's many contributions to the kingdom's development. His Royal Highness recalled the unprecedented challenges of the global COVID-19 pandemic and noted the kingdom's unity under the leadership of His Majesty the King to overcome adversity. His Royal Highness noted the importance of continuing the implementation of the economic recovery plan to bolster the quality of services, particularly health, education and housing. His Royal Highness added that the cabinet will soon welcome new members who will bring new ideas and a renewed drive to continue advancing the public sector for the good and development of the country and its citizens. His Royal Highness also expressed sincere gratitude for the contributions of senior public sector professionals whose experience and national contributions have benefited the kingdom and its citizens in line with His Majesty the King's vision. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, then gave it an address in which he extended his gratitude on his and the Cabinet's behalf to His Majesty the King for working alongside senior government officials to serve the Kingdom and its citizens. His Highness highlighted the government's achievements led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which have recognized locally and internationally. His Highness recalled the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's efforts to further the kingdom's development led by His Majesty the King. The cabinet highlighted the meeting held between His Majesty the King and the head of Yemen's Presidential Leadership Council, Major General Dr. Rashad Mohammed Al Alimi, noting its role in strengthening relations between Bahrain and Yemen. The cabinet reiterated Bahrain's support for the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council in carrying out its duties, restoring legitimate authority and achieving peace, security and stability and development in Yemen. The cabinet commended Team Bahrain for their efforts in advancing the kingdom's development goals, which are reflected in the rise of the Bahrain Index and several international economic reports, and stressed the importance of continuing to achieve the, the kingdom's wide-ranging development goals. The cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft cooperation agreement between the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the World Intellectual Property Organization regarding the development of business administration and services in intellectual property offices. The agreement aims to enhance the development of intellectual property in Bahrain. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding a project to extend the sewage treatment plant in North Sitra and the project's financing options. The project aims to increase the station's capacity to accommodate the new housing units in East Sitra. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects regarding a request to approve the implementation of 11 approved developments across various governorates of the Kingdom in accordance with the provisions of the expropriation of land and public benefit law. The memorandum's purpose is to provide the necessary spaces for urban development. 
A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy on a draft agreement for the promotion and protection of investments between the government of Bahrain and the government of Japan. The agreement aims to provide an environment that enhances investments between the two countries. A memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to six proposals and two law proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Shura and Representatives Council's Affairs on the works of the first session of the fifth legislative term, which reflected the positive outcomes of the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in the field of legislation and oversight on various development tracks. An internal review that found that 92% of the Cabinet's decisions were implemented during 2021 and the first half of 2022. In this regard, the Cabinet thanked the ministries and government agencies for their efforts in supporting the strategies and decisions that enhance the efficiency and quality of government services. The Cabinet took note of ministerial reports regarding participation in the 116th session of the GCC Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee, the 110th session of the International Labour Conference and the second high-level international conference on the International Decade for Action, titled Water for Sustainable Development 2018-2028. The President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, paid an inspection visit to the Sheikh Jabir Health Center and the Budaya Health Center, where he praised the distinguished level of the two centers and their high readiness at all levels. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed affirmed that the self management of primary health care centers project is a pioneering and ambitious national project to enhance the quality of preventive and curative health services. He affirmed that the government spares no effort to provide the best health services and achieve comprehensive health coverage within the framework of the directives of His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop the health services system in all governments of the Kingdom in line with the comprehensive development initiatives witnessed by the health sector in the Kingdom. He stated that the visit comes within the framework of examining the preparations for implementing the project in the Northern Governorate, where it is hoped that the registration for the Choose Your Doctor program will be announced for the people of the Governorate within the coming period. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, visited the Customer Service Center of Southern Municipality on the occasion of the winning of gold category in the third session of the Taqiyim program. The Minister expressed pride in His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for honoring the municipality, noting that this honor is a motivation for all the Ministry's employees towards excellence in performance. He indicated that this achievement comes as a result of the center's commitment and keenness to implement the standards set by the Evaluation Committee of Government Services Centers. Noting that the ministry is keen to provide all municipal services that meet the needs of citizens and residents at the highest standards of quality and excellence. For his part, the CE of the Information and E-Government Authority and Chairman of the Evaluation Committee of Government Service Centers, Mohammed Ali Al-Qaid, praised the effort of the ministry, which resulted in a number of its services centers obtaining the Golden Shield, stressing that this evaluation program is considered one of the most important and pioneering programs that aim to develop the government performance system. Bahrain Airport Company, the operator and managing body of Bahrain International Airport, announced the laying of the foundation stone for the express cargo village located north of the airport's runway. This is in line with the Kingdom's strategy for the logistics industry as laid out in its economic recovery plan in implementation of the visions of His Majesty the King and also follows an announcement by the Cabinet chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. 
Stretching over an area of 25,000 square meters, the Express Cargo Village is an advanced logistic hub which includes buildings dedicated to serving each cargo operator in line with the highest international standards. It ensures that all operations are carried out quickly and smoothly in a single location, enabling the airport to handle larger quantities of cargo efficiently, better meet the requirements of cargo customers and create new job opportunities. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, paid an inspection visit to the new Air Traffic Control Center building to review the work progress before starting the first operation phase of the new air traffic management system next month. He affirmed that the new building comes within the framework of the Ministry's strategic plan to develop aviation services in Bahrain and enhance safety and raise their efficiency to ensure the provision of air navigation services at the highest levels of safety and quality. In accordance with the standards and requirements of the International Civil Aviation Organization. On the sidelines of the 12th Ministerial Conference of the World Trade Organization, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and head of the Bahraini delegation, Zayed Zayani, met with the Minister of Economy and Trade of Lebanon, Ayman Salam, in the presence of the Assistant Undersecretary for Domestic and Foreign Trade, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa. They discussed a number of topics related to economy and the bilateral relations between Bahrain and Lebanon. The minister reviewed the economic and investment situation in Bahrain and the facilitated procedures the government follows to provide the suitable atmosphere for establishing investments, highlighting the laws and legislations that comply with the global requirements in the field of protecting investments and various economic projects. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, headed the Bahraini delegation, participating in the 12th Ministerial Conference of the World Tourism Organization, WTO, held in Geneva. A pre-recorded speech by Zayani was played, where he conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He praised the efforts of WTO Director General Dr. Naguzi Konjo Iwala, stressing the importance of the multilateral trading system and Bahrain's support of it, as well as its positive impact on overcoming the negative effects of the pandemic imposed on the world economy, commending the important role of the WTO in this aspect. He added that Bahrain welcomes discussions related to e-commerce, digital economy and MSEM. He also stressed the importance of not putting obstacles to the movement of food commodities in the face of the global food security crisis. As Zayani noted Bahrain's unwavering support for the Arab states currently negotiating their accession to the WTO, adding that Bahrain reiterates its support for granting the position of observer status of WTO to the Arab League. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Wa'il bin Nasser Al Mubarak, received the, uh, president, uh, the resident representative of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, in Bahrain, Firas Ghureyba. The meeting reviewed plans and projects for renewable energy and energy efficiency. The two sides discussed the existing cooperation with the UNDP and the multiple achievements made in the field of renewable energy. They highlighted the government's interest in the diversification and sustainability of energy resources and to raise Bahrain's status in this field among the countries that are making significant qualitative efforts to achieve the goals of sustainable development. The minister praised the tireless efforts of the UNDP and its keenness to support Bahrain's goals and efforts in the global lead for the transition to renewable energy. The representative uh, praised Bahrain's efforts and the ministry's important role in achieving energy sustainability goals. Customs President Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the CE of the Information and E-Government Authority and Government and Evaluation Taqeem Committee Mohammed Al Qaid.
after the customs clearance won the gold category in the third session of the Taqeem program. The customs president hailed the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the follow-up of the Minister of Interior to enhance services. He said that as part of ongoing efforts to provide the best services to the public, the center's 20 services achieved 100% of the required evaluation criteria. They hailed the centers and the efforts to continue to develop services for clients through creativity, competitivity and innovation.